we've made our way into the kitchen, and you've seen our next guest on shows like The Young and the Restless and Jane the Virgin, but today she is in our kitchen making lamb chops with a Moroccan kick. Welcome to our home, Sophia Pernas. Welcome back. Thank you. So good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Cam, Thanks for having me. Kim and Ken. Wow, Cam, Kim, and Ken. That's I know. Awesome. I mean, <laughs> we don't mess around. Say that three times. <laughs> They're excited to eat your yummy lamb chops. Yeah, so you guys dig it oh. so up your alley, Cameron. Oh. This beautiful protein. It's so healthy. So I know that this is a very nostalgic recipe to you because you were using spices from your home country of Morocco and your mom used to make these sort of things for you growing up, didn't oh, yeah. she? Oh yeah, it was, you know, we, some, one of the spices I'll be using is sort of like a blend of what we call Ras al-Hanout, which means like head of the market, like the king spice, which is like a mixture of all of the best spices in the market that day, which is normally like coriander, cardamom, nutmeg, cinnamon, all really, really rich, rich things. Mm -hmm. And and I was I was saying, it's like every time I went to school, everybody always knew I was foreign <laughs> because that, <laughs> it just you sticks know. to your hair. <laughs> it's, 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 to your clothes. No, there was no it's lunchables like for this girl. Right. <laughs> but, but the spice markets in Morocco yep. are really second to none. The beautiful, the vibrant colors. And you're right, you walk through the market and you smell like the market. Oh, yeah. So we are going to start by making this beautiful spice mixture for our lamb chops. So what goes in here? So this is our coriander. This is all spice, salt, pepper, dehydrated garlic. And they all sort of go together in this little mixture. Okay. You want to put a little so bit. This is for the rub? This is for the rock. Okay, yeah. got it. All spices, like if you can, if you can smell that, that is. Oh, it's so good. Uh huh. It is. I love all spice. It is amazing stuff. And by the way, a lot of people don't know that all spice is not a mixture of spices. It's actually a spice that is all spice. I did not know that. I, yeah. Uh, Wow. Kim and I uh, both did not know. That. <laughs> I think a lot I was like, of people all don't spice. know. Why don't you just use all spices? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> so you want to. You want to coat these with olive oil before, because once you coat them with olive oil and you put them in the oven to broil, that's what gets the, the, the spices to adhere and make a nice tacky right. surface mm. for the heat to sort of make the nice little sizzle on the lamb chops. Super yummy. Now, this rub, could you use it on other proteins as well? You can, but it's, it's, since it is potent, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. you kind of, if you're using this on, on chicken or steak, mm -hmm. I would say use very sparingly. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Very, very cautious. Very yeah, be warned, everybody. I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure how to take this. So, can I have a little smell of it? We just oh, don't want oh, it to yeah, overwhelm. Because they will overwhelm. Okay. It can be overwhelming if it's not mm. used. I just got yeah. transported to Casablanca. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> beautiful. Isn't that it's nice, nice this no? This smells gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's Casablanca. It's a walk through Marrakesh. It's whatever yeah. you want it. Could you put that in a bath with hot water? <laughs> no, I'm being serious. Wouldn't that be you beautiful? Could. You, you could. But, but what we were trying to say is she was trying to avoid. So she was trying stained. to avoid smelling oh, like the spices. Oh, I don't think oh, that's yeah. the way to go. If I just don't think that's the way to go. If you don't want to smell like a spice suit. You know. Right, like a spice rack. A spice rack. <laughs> so then we pop this in the oven yeah. for a very short amount of time. Yeah, only 10 minutes. It's Beautiful. really quick. It's such a great, quick, quick meal. And wow. five minutes halfway, you want to flip it. You want to okay. flip it so both sides get a nice little sizzle. But it's a pretty high heat, right? Yes, it's very high heat. Yeah. And then, so it's on broil. So if you're doing it oh, 10 minutes, broil. make sure you watch yeah. so they don't burn. Yes. Yummy, and that looks good already. Yeah. And as you guys are kind of going yeah. to the next phase here, I want to ask you about your, your new show, the premiere. Uh, it's very exciting, everybody. Blood and Treasure. Tell us about your character. Mm. Oh, it was such a fun ride. My character, her name's Lexi Viziri. Okay. She's an art thief, but she really steals everything. She steals it all. Okay, all right. Specific <laughs> emphasis on art, I see. but um, she's got she's got a lot of a lot of passion. She's loyal. She's 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 got moxie and wow. yeah and yeah that's she's cool that's wow. that's quite a that's quite a, an expression. <laughs> well, listen, she's tough, but I hear you're pretty tough too. You're a, a motorcycle rider. In fact, you ride motorcycles and many different types of motorcycles. Oh that's yeah, that's pretty hardcore. It's, You've got to incorporate that into the show. Right. It's hardcore. I mean, the CBS would not let me do any oh, of that I stuff. I got a really yeah. a really bad of the bone stunt double named Zandara, who with a name like Zandara. Zandara. I, oh, I know. She sounds like Zandara a superhero. Zandara Kennedy, yeah. you are a superhero. But she was she was doing some crazy. I mean, she was going 150 miles per hour wow. on a Ducati on, in, on 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 one of those scenes. Oh my goodness. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah I know your mom would not through. allow you to no, do that. No. No. I mean. My yeah. mom was like, You're, you, "If you want to ride, you will ride on the dirt, but you will not ride on the street, oh. or I will, I will kill you." Right, yeah. exactly. Yeah. I will. But you ride, you yeah. ride. Which yes, is cool. yes, I ride, yeah. and it, it's not. I, I got, I got two really good guy friends um, 
who helped me not kill myself, and they're the ones that kind of taught me the rite of passage. They they have all the dirt bikes, and so we we would go out out to Joshua Tree and, and ride. And Very cool. Canadians, whatever you know. That, well, he's a Canadian That's too. Okay. Oh, oh now. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Oh, Canadians. Canadians. I, do, I don't ride motorcycles. We're trying Canadian. to say Canadians are little. What was that? A little goofy? <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. What were you going down there? Like no. Push men. Push men. <laughs> they, they do we're very, yes, we're very adrenaline driven. Yeah. Oh, really? True. Yes. I didn't know Big that time. about you guys. We're, we're explorers. We're I thought it was just you. Mm -hmm. yeah. I love that. <laughs> well, look There's at that. More. There's yeah. More. All right. No, well, we're going to make this beautiful dressing okay. that's going to go on our salad over here. This yes. is just a, a lemon mustard dressing, right? My mom's been, uh, my mom's had this in the family for so long. I mean, it's a sort of French lemon mustard take I'm on really it, but she, she's put spins and tweaks on it for years. And I'm addicted to this stuff. It is so, it so is that so was bomb. Lemon. Yes. lemon juice? Lemon. This is, oh, a, that I'm, I'm, I'm going to do that. You're going to try? This. That's a giant spoon. Yeah. I'm okay. gonna dunk that. This is Dijon mustard. Okay. okay. Dunk yeah. this in there, and then we have the honey, nice. okay. which is yeah. essential. And then it's garlic. Ooh, nice. And then we're gonna dunk this. Boom, boom. Yummy. And the very Salt specific pepper, olive oil, which your mother happens to be oil. very particular about. Mm -hmm. We grow we grow olives on our farm in Morocco. Oh, wow. So, my mom's a little bit of an olive oil elitist. She you just get it. cooler and cooler. <laughs> I mean, like, you are already really no, cool. Honor, I, I swear I'm not. Need them. I mean, wow. honestly, she's very cool. And I love that her mom is an olive oil elitist <laughs> because know, I'm a little bit. Exactly. Coming from Greece. Yeah, yeah, I was like, really? Oh, I love your mother. All right, you guys, have fun. You're going to love this.